This is journalist Ryan Albers, and I'm here with Ron Wallace, founder and CEO of BridgeSpans, a Bedford customer since 2008. First off, Ron, tell us about BridgeSpans, what you do, where you work, uh, and who you work with. BridgeSpans builds park and trail bridges primarily for governmental agencies like the Forest Service in the western United States and Alaska. We design our bridges for pedestrian, equestrian, and light vehicle, uh, light recreational vehicles. And I understand you use a lot of fiberglass reinforced polymer, or FRP, in the bridges you build. How do you use FRP, uh, and how do you think it compares to traditional building materials? We use FRP in our bridges because of its strength to weight ratio. Pound for pound, it's stronger than steel, but only weighs about one-fifth as much. This allows us to assemble uh, uh, very strong bridges in remote locations without the use of heavy equipment. Additionally, FRP is non-corrosive, it's UV protected, it has a long life expectancy, and it doesn't need to be painted since Bedford adds, adds a pigment directly to the resin. Uh, bridge spans in Bedford recently collaborated on a pedestrian bridge for the U.S. Forest Service just outside Telluride, Colorado. Ron, can you tell us a little bit about this project? Yes, the Forest Service needed a trail bridge for pedestrian and trail riders on the side of a mountain about three-quarters of a mile up a single-track trail, and it would have been extremely costly to transport a steel or wood bridge to this location. With our special trailers, we were able to haul the FRP to the site with no problem and assemble the bridge in a short period of time. The savings for the Forest Service was considerable. Uh, how did uh, Bedford help you win this business? Bedford's the only manufacturer that I talked with that seemed to understand that their success was dependent upon the success of their customers. Uh, everyone I've worked with at Bedford has been over backwards to help us with the challenges that we've come across from um, fabrication questions to shipping issues. They've always been there for support and solutions. What kind of feedback have you received since the bridge was completed there? The trail users were amazed that we were able to transport and assemble the bridge on a single track trail in such a remote location. The Forest Service engineer that inspected the bridge walked out on it, jumped up a bit to test how sturdy it was, and he commented that it felt even sturdier than a steel bridge. I really have to give credit to our engineer for that, but it's also a testimony to the strength of FRP. Sounds like a good team effort. Well, uh, thanks again for your time today, Ron. Uh, where can listeners go to learn more about bridge spans? site would be best, and that's www.bridgespans.net. Okay. And if you'd like to learn more about Bedford's FRP solutions, just go to bedfordreinforced.com.